Isang maganda at mapagpalang umaga sa ating lahat, sa mga kawani ng SDO Santa Rosa, mga guro, at sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa ating live stream, welcome sa ating virtual flag ceremony and turnover ceremony. Upang simula ng ating seremonya, inaanyayahan ang lahat na tumayo para sa pag-awit ng lupang hinirang na susunda ng isang panalangin at pag-awit ng himno ng Santa Rosa. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, kaya sa sinatanan, alam ng puso, sa itik ko'y buhay. Upang pinirinang, huwag ka nang magiging, sa manlulupi, di ka pasisigil, sa nagatang tutup sa simula, sa namin kong pangraw, ay hinatang tulang awit sa pagkayang minamahal. giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gift of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference to the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. Amen. 
Itaas po natin ang ating kanong kamay sa ayos ng panunumpa at sabay-sabay nating bigkasin ang panunumpa ng Batawat ng Pilipinas, panunumpa ng lingkod bayan at quality policy. Panunumpa sa Watawat ng Pilipinas. Ako ay Pilipino, buong patapatang nanunumpa sa Watawat ng Pilipinas at sa Republikang kanyang sinasagisag na may dangal, katarungan at kalayaan na pinakikilos ng sambayan ng makajos, makakalikasan, makatao at makabansa. Panunumpa sa Watawat Panunumpa ng Lingkod Bayan Ako ay isang lingkod bayan. Katungkulan ko ang maglingkod ng buong katapatan at kahusayan at makatulong sa katatagan at kaonlaran ng aking bayan. Sisikapin kong patuloy na maragdaga ng aking kaalaman. Maging bahagi ako na kaayusan at kapayapaan sa pamahalaan. Susunod at tutulong ako sa pagpapatupad ng mga umiiral na batas at alituntunin ng walang pinipilingan. Isa sa alang-alang ko ang interes ng nakararami bago ang pansarili kong kapakanan. Isusulong ko ang mga programang mag-aangat sa antas ng kabuhayan ng mamamayan. Aktibo akong makikibahagi sa mga dakilang layunin sa lipunan. Hindi ako magiging bahagi at isisiwalat ko ang anumang katiwalian makakaabot sa aking kaalaman. Gagawin kong kapakipakinabang ang bawat sandali. Sa lahat ng panahon, sisikapin kong makatugon sa mga hamon sa lingkod bayan. Ang lahat ng ito para sa ating dakilang lumikha at sa ating bayan kasi hanawa ako ng may kapal. Quality Policy The school's division of Santa Rosa City is a functional, competent, and innovative organization committed to provide quality education support services to our stakeholders by upholding the principles of good governance, effective administration, and technology-driven systems and procedures in our operations. We shall develop a culture of excellence by continually improving our systems processes and performance to adapt to the changing needs, expectations, and satisfaction of our work trying to deal with the technique. At upang bigyan tayo ng pagkain pangkaisipan, narito po si Mr. Noel Malaborbor, Budget Officer 3. So, good morning to everyone. I am tasked to share some uh, words of wisdom for all of us as employees of Debt and Santa Rosa City. So, for today, Monday, I'm going to share to you some of the uh, Bible verses from the Bible about the responsibilities that should be taken up by the worker of any government employee. So the words work and toil are mentioned over 480 times in the Bible, indicating that God considers our work to be a very important aspect of our lives. Throughout scripture, God communicates how important an aspect of this in our lives. God communicates how important our work it is to Him. Below are just some of the few verses that contain God's wisdom and perspective on our work and how we should conduct ourselves while performing our work. Along with the practical ways you can apply this verses today. So the first verse is this. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. It is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. What is the application of this word? So I will repeat. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, 
do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. And what is the application for this word? Work is a part of life and it's meant to be done with a positive attitude. It says that we have to be intentional about the way we handle our task. And we should treat each other at work today with grace and love. Because this is how we bring God the glory. So uh, it's very self-explanatory that in our everyday life, in our work, we have to consider our attitude towards our work and towards the people we work with. So we should do it as if we are doing it for our God. So yun po yung unang verse. Pangalawa po, ito po, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the, the Lord Christ you are serving. So, participating in a meeting, taking out the trash or updating the budget, and identify ways you can do each thing with excellence as if God is the one you want to please. So in other words, you have to be mindful of our work as if the one we are considering as the master is not our superior, but our God as our immediate superior. Because if we do and treat our job as if our superior is our God, then definitely we will do our best and we will uh, apply our skills our knowledge, our wisdom, our excellence to make our work better. And if everyone, each and every one of us will do this, I'm sure that uh, we can bring out the best, not only for the immediate superior or for the department that we are serving, but all for the glory of God. So let us consider this word as a guide for all of us to treat our work as well as our co-employees. So for today, this is all. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat, Sir Noel, para sa isang makabuluhang mensahe. At upang formal na simula ng ating turnover ceremony, Narito po si Ms. Kat Arguel at Mr. Perry Peria. So uh, to proceed to our second, uh, second part of our program, which is the virtual ceremony turnover of laptop for distance learning. Uh, magpo-proceed po tayo. So, uh, let me give first, let me give the uh, program matrix. So, for this morning, we will have the welcome address to all the participants, inspirational message from our SES, then the purpose, and then we have the presentation of participants, messages from the various officers from our municipality uh, of Santa Rosa, and then we will have the acceptance, the turnover ceremony, then we will have also the closing remarks. And finally, pagka po tayo ay may tanong, pwede po natin uh, i-chat or type in doon sa ating phone. So later on, uh, they will be uh, addressed by our IQ. Okay. okay, good morning po sa lahat. So again, welcome to all our participants, to our dear school heads, together with their school property custodian, ICT coordinators, all teaching and non-teaching personnel, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. So, okay, without further ado po, we will now uh, call on our school's division superintendent, Dr. Manuela S. Tolentino, to give her opening remarks as well as message of inspiration. Good morning, excuse me. Magandang lunes ng umaga sa ating lahat. It's a very good uh, morning, uh, a, a very good day. Why? Because aside from starting the, the, the week with uh, the flag ceremony hosted by the finance uh, people, uh, thank you, 
uh, thank you sa inyong lahat, uh, ang mga taga budget, finance, and accounting who uh, took the uh, the responsibility of uh, handling our opening program or our uh, flag raising ceremony. Thank you very much sa inyong lahat. And then uh, today will uh, will be a very remarkable uh, um, moment, no? In the division of Santa Rosa City, uh, in particular uh, for the teachers and the non-teaching personnel. Okay, last year, uh, during our preparation and planning for uh, the online delivery uh, mode or the the uh, delivery system, which is quite uh, far from the normal, wherein uh, we have to use technology no, and gadgets. Um, Aside uh, from uh, um, requesting and securing uh, devices for our students, no, the, the tablets that has been distributed last year for the use of uh, grade three pupils up to our senior high school students, um, uh, with the generosity of the city uh, mayor, Mayor Arlene Arcelias and uh, the executive assistant uh, and in charge also of the ICT, Sir Arnold uh, Arcelias, uh, and the, all the LSB officers and members, we come up you now with the provision of laptops for uh, all the teachers teaching in Santa Rosa City Division. And uh, also some of them will, uh, some of these laptops will go to our non-teaching personnel. Okay, so this is really a very good uh, um, blessing, a very uh, a blessing, na not only to the schools but of course to our uh, teachers who really took the pain, no, in uh, buying their uh, their own laptops, kung wala sila, no, getting from their own pockets or uh, nasitiga doon sa mga luma nilang laptops na la malinit maghang no at nangangailangan din sana i-repair para lang magamit so this time um magkakaroon na sila ng bagong laptop and i hope the delivery of uh, learning the online delivery uh, of uh, learning will um, be more effective and efficient in terms of the achievement of our pupils uh, malaking bagay ito para sa lahat at uh, ang ating pasasalamat sa pamunuan no, ng, uh, ng lungsod ng uh, Santa Rosa City. Um, I, I know they really uh, uh, took it uh, very seriously in allotting uh, budgets for this. Nagkaroon lang tayo ng kaunting, uh, kaunting delay uh, because of the bulk of orders. Alam niyo naman, hindi naman isa lang o uh, sampu o dalawang po. So, and uh, besides yung ating uh, procurement process, I made you, it is very tedious and we have to uh, conform with the uh, um, appropriate accounting and auditing rules. Kaya uh, kung ang iba inip na inip, lalo na po kami dahil gusto namin ma-deliver agad lahat sa inyo ang services na, panganga, na kinakailangan ng bawat isang uh, nagtuturo, guro o naglilingkod sa ating uh, sangay ng Santa Rosa City. So uh, by this, I would like to share with you a very short story about the teacher's hands. And I dedicate this to all the teachers who will receive um, the laptops today no? and the um, to all the non-teaching, no, because it's, it's true to everybody. This uh, story is true to everybody. Okay? And, uh, it was Thanksgiving Day. No, it's nearly Thanksgiving Day. The first grade teacher gave her class a fun assignment. And what is this assignment? To draw a picture of something for which they were thankful. Yeah. Most of the class might be considered economically disadvantaged, but still many would celebrate the holiday with turkey and other traditional goodies of the season. Kasi 
yeah, although the setting of the story is uh, is uh, a foreign uh, country, uh, sa atin din naman nagbibigay tayo ng Thanksgiving and uh, we prepare some foods. No? Here, uh, they uh, in, in their uh, country, they uh, prefer turkey and other goodies for the season. Now, this, the teacher thought, would be the subject of the most of her students are. And they were. But Douglas, no, other other uh, students, no, classmates of Douglas made their arts, no, according to the uh, activity or the occasion that was uh, being celebrated. But Douglas made a different kind of picture. Douglas was a different kind of boy. He was the teacher's true child of misery, frail and unhappy. As other children played at recess, Douglas was likely to stand close by her teacher's side. One could only guess at the pain Douglas felt behind those sad eyes. And yes, his picture was different. When asked uh, to draw a picture of something for which he was thankful, he drew a hand, nothing else, just an empty hand. Okay. His abstract image captured the imagination of his peers. Sabi nila, whose hand could it be? One child guessed it was the hand of a farmer because farmers raised turkeys. Another suggested a police officer because the police protect and care for people. Still others guess it was the hand of God, for God feed us. And so discussion went. No, di nila malaman ano nga ba talaga yung dinrowing ni Douglas. Until the teacher almost forgot the young artist himself. When the children had gone on to other assignments, she paused at Douglas' desk, <clears throat> bent down, and ask him whose hand it was. Okay. Next. The little boy looked away and muttered, It's yours, teacher. She recalled the time she had taken his hand and walked with him here or there, as she had the other students. How often she, has, she said, Take my hand, Douglas, we'll go outside. Or, let me show you how to hold your pencil. Or, let's do this together. Douglas was most thankful for his teacher's hand. Brushing aside a tear, she went on with her work. Okay? This story speaks of more than thankfulness. No? Indeed, in the story, Douglas is very thankful for the teacher. Hindi niya lang masabi, Kaya i-dinrowin niya, no? nilagay niya sa abstract. It says something, no? this story says something about teachers teaching and parents parenting and friends showing friendship and how much it means to the Douglases of the world. They might not always say thanks, but they remember the hand that reaches out. Okay? Next. So let us be reminded that we have to, no? Although hindi tayo yung teacher ni Douglas, no? We are, we are uh, people who do service. We are public servants. We are, we are the one who deliver uh, the services expected from us, no? Um, whether you are in the finance department, HR, on the OSDS office, on, on, the, on the accounting unit, or in the SGOD or uh, CID, we are, no? We are rendering services. And we always uh, lend our hand, no? For everybody who needs them. So let us keep reaching out because you may help pull someone out of darkness and guide them into the light. Just like what our city is doing, uh, doing uh, for us, they are reaching their hands 
no they are giving the they are delivering the service that our teachers our non-teaching non personnel need and uh, as of today they will be um, helping us uh, pulling out of these teachers on, on the needs of a very terrible situation wherein they have to uh, meet the uh, expectations of the online delivery uh, teaching mode and and uh, for the non-teaching for the work from home uh, uh, requirements that uh, we need no in order for us to deliver uh, our services in this new normal so they are the helping hands they are the hands no the hands of our uh, of our very dear and supportive mayor and all the personnel of the local school board, um, the the, uh, the city councilor in charge of education, our PTA president, our non uh, our uh, uh, president of the teachers association, and so many others who really uh, uh, make a hand in the realization of this uh, virtual turnover of laptops to our teachers. So. Let us labor the day. Let us give thanks to the Lord that there are so many helping hands that extend their help you know, in order to pull somebody, anybody, and everybody out of the darkness, guiding them into the light. Let us be one of them. Good morning. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Ayan, so, thank you so much po, Ma'am Ella, for that very inspiring story and also message po. So this event is truly a blessing for our teaching and non-teaching personnel to provide a continuous and quality education to our learners. Okay, Sir Perry, though nabanggit na ni Ma'am Ella yung uh, ating purpose na ginagawang activity today, can you give us a gist of objective or statement of purpose for this one? Actually, uh, Ma'am Kat, the school's division of Santa Rosa City, Laguna, as part of its uh, basic education continuity plan, is now holding this novel task of virtual ceremonial turnover Kita mo naman, despite you know, a means ng ating pandemic. So, turnover of laptop to secure that teachers will be able to deliver the lessons with convenience. In addition to that, Ma'am Kat, the provision of continued teaching and learning process will be properly executed, whose main beneficiaries are the students themselves who prefer distance learning modality. So, Ma'am Kat, uh, excited ka na ba? <laughs> so, so, so shall we call? Uh, yes, of course. Siguro excited na rin ang ating mga nanonood ngayon to go on our highlights sa ating activity. So before that, uh, as I have mentioned earlier, our participants is our uh, school heads and teaching and non-teaching personnel. So may we present to you to the, uh, the participants for this virtual ceremonial turnover of laptop. We will call the name of the school together with your school head and also with your uh, property custodian and ICT coordinators. Okay, so let us now start, Sir Penny. Okay, po. so to begin with, po, uh, we would like to acknowledge ang ating mga school heads. Po. So, sabi nga ni Ma'am Kat, alphabetical po tayo. So, from Aplaya Elementary School, we have uh, Ma'am Amiti D. Daipiko, um, Ma'am Kat. And from Balibago Elementary School, we have Ma'am Jonah El Castrillo. From Kainin Elementary School, we have Ma'am Mercedita C. Lacerna. From Dila Elementary School, we have Ma'am Rowena P. Pasqua. From Dita Elementary School, we have Ma'am Nelia M. Cabuyo. From Don Jose Elementary School, we have Ma'am Sir Lorenzo L. Malapitan. From Jose Savalia Memorial Elementary School, we have Ma'am Catherine G. Javier. And from Labas Elementary School, we have Ma'am Juanita N. Morato. Then we have from Macabling Elementary School, Ma'am Muchati Morillo. Malitlit Elementary School, Ma'am Lucille Bukis. From Pulong uh, Santa Cruz Elementary School, we have Sir Benjamin P. Conteco, Jr. 
From Santo Domingo Elementary School, we have from Lillian D. Perez. From Sinalhan Elementary School, we have Ma'am Guadalupe R. Faculisa. From Southville 4, Piamian Elementary School, we have Ma'am Cheryl C. Cartrena. From Santa Rosa Elementary School, Central 1, we have Ma'am Lenila Leda P. Bartolome. From Santa Rosa Elementary School, Central 2, we have Sir Ronaldo G. Campbell. From Santa Rosa Elementary School, Central 3, we have Ma'am Kathleen M. Alasa. And from Tadapo Elementary School, we have Ma'am Nesita F. Marga. So we will proceed now to the junior and senior high of Kapo. Uh, from Aplaya Integrated High School, we have Ma'am Bedwinda P. Taverna, Talavera, sorry. And from Aplaya National High School Annex, we have Ma'am Liberty Agustin. From Balibago Integrated High School, Ma'am Irma S. Jamon. From Don Jose Integrated <laughs> High School, we have Ma'am Rowena Cruz, OIC Principal. Then from Pulong Santa Cruz um, National High School, we have Ma'am Silvia L. Marquez. From Santo Domingo Integrated High School, we have Ma'am Graciela Judy A. Pacheco. From Santa Rosa Science and Technology, uh, we have the... Uh, Assistant Principal, Mr. Paolo B. Mangos. From Southville 4 National High School, we have Ma'am May B. Basbas. From Labas uh, Senior High School, we have Dr. Alvin B. Santa Maria. And last but definitely not the least, from Sinalhan Integrated High School, <coughs> we have Ma'am Christina, Maria <coughs> Christina Pegolio. So, okay. Okay. Um, para po sa inyong lahat yan. Ayan. Okay. So, ayan. Thank you for sa ating mga school heads. So, uh, also, there are numbers of people who are always willing to support whatever and the war that Deped Santa Rosa had. So, let us acknowledge and thank our city councilor in charge of education, Honorable Jose Joel L. Aala, and also our regional 4A director, Dr. Francis Cesar B. Brinas. So, maraming salamat po for the support po. Okay. Of course po, hindi po mawawala ang ating, uh, our next speaker na magbibigay din sa atin ang message. Isa din po siya sa mga tumutulong sa atin. So, from uh, the chief, exec uh, from the uh, office of the mayor, he is the chief executive assistant, Mr. Arnold B. Arcelius. you I'm here uh, invite po para po sa message kan po uh, in your uh, virtual uh, flag ceremony um, thank you very much lahat po ng ginagawa nyo I'm, I'm sure na ang hirap po na ang um, online natin ngayon um mahirap po maging guro sa panahon ngayon kahit naman po dati pero ngayon po parang mas mahirap talaga pag hindi face to face di ba ho Kaya taos puso kong pasalamat ni uh, Heya Arnold Arcillas po sa inyong lahat. And also, um, I would like to apologize din po. Medyo natinig talaga yung ating laptop um, uh, challenges po para po sa supplier. Dahil po customize siya, uh, medyo nahirapan po. And there's also a trade war between uh, yung mga parts po between the US and China. Um, but... Good news is uh, andito na po siya and hopefully it will be distributed uh, this week po uh, with the help of course of our um, Dev Ed on um, distributing it and I assure ko po sa na this is a good uh, laptop po uh, it will be it can be used uh, to 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 be used in online po online uh, teaching po and again apologies po but uh, at least, hindi na po siya. And if there's any problem, any issues po, uh, bukas po ang office ng ating LGU. Uh, dito po ako to assist and dito po ako always to support you. Um, dati pa naman po, kahit mong vice mayor po ako, ay, ay um, full support po sa mga teachers. Kahit mga po sinasabi, ang mga teachers ay second yan eh. Second nanay yan eh, di ba? 
ay kayo po ang backbone ng isang barangay, ng isang bayan po. Dahil sa inyo po na makukuha ang aming background, ang aming capability skills para po sa aming kinabukasan. Again po, uh, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Thank you very much. Mang Ella, thank you very much for the invites and continue. Continue lang po ang ating trabaho as a public servant, as a um, good citizen po ng Luzon, ng Santa Rosa. And of course, Mayor Arlene, uh, thank you very much for the support na binibigay niyo po sa teachers. Again po, maraming salamat po. God bless po. Okay, maraming okay, maraming 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 salamat po, uh, Sir Arnold. So, our last, siyempre, pinakahuli natin magbibigyan ng message, her inspirational message. May I call the uh, ever-supportive mayor of the city of Santa Rosa, Honorable Arlene B. Arsines. Hello, Santa Rosa. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ngayong araw po, ay isang mahalagang araw para sa education sector ng ating lungsod. Nais ko pong simulan ito sa pagkamusta sa ating mga minamahal na guro na puno ng pagmamahal sa kanilang profesyon. Hindi naman lingil sa ating kaalaman that our teachers play a very important role in a student's life and the future of our society. Kaya naman ngayong kinakaharap natin ang edukasyon sa new normal, Nagpapasalamat po ako sa ating mga guro, sa inyo, sa kanilang dedikasyon, upang makapagbigay pa rin ng dedikalidad na edukasyon para sa mga estudyante. Bilang mayor, ibilip po ako sa inyo. Alam ko na hindi po naging madali ang magturo ng malayo sa ating nakasunayan na face-to-face -face classes. Marami pong pagbabago ang hinarap ng ating mga guro. Nariyan po ang pinigurado na exciting ang mga lessons para sa mga estudyante, pag-aasikaso at pag-check ng mga modules. Nagdag pa ang pagsagot sa mga katanungan ng mga magulang. Kung ako po ang katanungin, it is truly a noble thing to do out of their love and passion for teaching. Kaya ngayong umaga, ang inyo pong lingkod kasamang Department of Education ay malugod na ibinabahagi na makakatanggap ng mga laptops ang ating mga guro. Lubos po itong makatutulong sa mga gawain at responsibilidad na patuloy nilang ginagampanan. Bagaman ito po ay na-delay due to pandemic, ay ito na po ang inyong mga laptops. Sana ay magsilbi itong dagdag inspirasyon upang mas pagbutihin po ang inyong pagtututo. I would like you to treasure this gift of help kagaya ng pag-treasure ninyo sa ating mga estudyante. Tunay pong nasubok ng new normal ang commitment natin sa ating mga trabaho at nagpapasalamat ako na mayroon akong katuwang na kagaya ninyo sa education sector na alam pong maaasahan kong tumulong sa amin na magbigay ng tapat na servisyo sa mamamayan. Makakaasa po kayo sa pamahalang lungsod na laging handang magbigay ng suporta para sa lahat na kakailanganin ninyo upang mapakusay ang edukasyon pang lalo sa lungsod ng Santa Rosa. Maswerte po kami na kasama namin kayo sa pagsubok na ito. Mula po sa buong lungsod ng Santa Rosa, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay po ang ating mga guro. God bless and stay safe. Maraming maraming salamat po. So, this is it. Uh, Kat, excited ka na ba? <laughs> yes, sir, very. So, I, I'm sure excited na rin ang ating mga uh, teachers at ang mga non-teaching na nanonood ngayon dito sa ating live stream. So, before that, sir, Perry, nakita mo na po yung itsura ng laptop na ibibigay sa atin. Ay, sa atin. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, Ma'am Kat, uh, may idea na ako. Pero mas maganda kung Miss Mundo sa uh, Shake kung sino yung mag-ibigay. Uh, uh, yes. So, na natin. Yes, so before all of, uh, before we move on po, so gusto po muna namin ipakita sa inyo ang laptop. So we will now call on our Information Technology Officer 1, uh, Sir Jason Favella. Sir Jason, good morning. So, good morning, uh, Sir Perry, Sir uh, Miss Kat, uh, Ma'am Ella, Sir Lito, at sa lahat po ng teachers na nanonood po ng ating live stream today. Uh, so, na-mention nila Miss Kat kanina yung, ano, no? yung, Kat, yung laptop natin. So, before uh, i-demo ko po sa inyo yung magiging laptop natin, ay uh, pagpapasalamat po muna ulit tayo kay sa ating mga 
uh, naging bahagi para maging masat- masaka to para po itong project natin kay Mayor Arlen Arcelias, uh, sa lahat po ng members ng LSB natin, kay Sir Kekon, si Joel Aala, kay Sir, Sir Arnold Arcelias, alam ko medyo nakukulitan na sila sa akin kapag nagpapalap ako. At siya siyempre sa ating uh, supportive na uh, SDS, uh, um, Ella and ES, uh, OICA SDS, uh, Sir Lindo. So, uh, na-mention nga po ni Ma'am Ella kanina, nung nag-plan po tayo ng para sa distance learning natin last year, uh, hindi naman po siyempre, kung, kung baga ang meron po tayong project para sa mga bata para po mag-continue yung education. Siyempre, meron din po tayong plan para sa mga teachers natin. Medyo na-delay nga lang po ng konti. Pero, uh, I'm happy to, ano po sa inyo, pakita po sa inyo yung magiging uh, laptop po natin, ipamimigay natin uh, this week or sa susunod na week po siguro. So, ito po siya. Mala, medyo malabo lang po yung camera ko dito sa desktop ko. Pakidemo nga. Pakidemo nga. Demo natin sa kabila. May... <coughs> so, ayan po yung ano natin. So, ang specification po niyan ay align sa sa nilabas na minimum specification ng laptop for distance learning ng central office. Ito po ay 14 inches uh, na laptop, uh, 250 gig, at uh, uh, 8 gig, sorry, 8 gig RAM na memory at 250 SSD. So, nasa mid to as uh, parang mid na range na laptop na po siya na I think naman na swak na swak na po sa ating laptop uh, sa ating distance learning. So siguro nagtatanong po kayo o siguro nagtatanong po kayo sino-sino po ang makakareceive nitong ating bagong laptop. Uh, uh, I'm happy to announce po na lahat, as mentioned nga po dating-dati pa, lahat po ng teaching personnel natin ay makakareceive ng brand new laptop from, from City Mayor. Ito pa po yung accessories so, kompleto po yan, yung laptop at saka may kasama po kong bag, pamain na lang. <laughs> so, lahat po ng teaching personnel natin, uh, bago at yung mga ba- kasama po yung mga bago natin kasi nung nag-planning naman po tayo, na-consider natin yung mga, new, uh, mga magiging uh, newly hard teachers. At syempre po, yung mga uh, personnel po natin na nagsusupport din sa distance learning, yung mga selected personnel po na covered po doon sa program. So, lahat po yan, Lahat po ng 2,100 personnel po ng SDO Santa Rosa ay makakareceive po nitong brand new laptop uh, from City Government of Santa Rosa po. So, Miss Kat and Sir Perry, may tanong po ba tayo? Ayan, so nag-enjoy kami sa pagpapakita <laughs> ng new laptop. <laughs> ano? So, I'm sure excited na rin kayo na. Okay, so if you have any questions, why think Sir Jason already explained po? the uh, significant information po na kailangan natin malaman para dito sa lockdown na to. Pero baka may mga katanungan pa po kayo, uh, feel free po to chat it in our chat box po later on po. Okay? So, now moving on po. Yes. Okay. So, at this moment, we will have the turnover, turnover of laptop ceremony to the to be accepted by our President of Santa Rosa City Teachers Association, Mr. Larry Hirado. Good morning, Pastor Larry. Okay, isang magandang umaga po sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin sa virtual ceremonial uh, distribution ng ating laptop. Um, una po sa lahat, pasalamat po muna ako sa ating um, kung bakit naging nagkaroon tayo ng, ng laptop na ito ay dahil po sa uh, pangangailangan siyempre ng ating mga guro at siyempre doon sa uh, paghingi natin ng, ng permiso, ng request na magkaroon tayo ng mga laptop. So pasalamat po muna kay Honorable Mayor Arlene Biarcillas sa uh, patuloy po na suporta sa uh, pagmamahal sa mga guro na ipagkaloob sa atin ang ating mga kahilingan para magamit natin sa ating um, pagtuturo na uh, mga teacher ngayon. Uh, sa ating pong kasamahan sa local school board uh, na siya pong uh, nag aproba ng mga pangangailangan po natin. At ganoon din sa ating um, SDS kay Ma'am Ella, sa ating pong assistant division superintendent kay Sir Lindo 
Na salamat po sa inyong pagsuporta sa lahat po ng mga PSDS, mga heads, mga principal po natin. Thank you po sa inyong uh, patuloy na paggabay po sa amin. Uh, so ito po ay ang matagal na pong inaantay ng mga guro na matanggap nila ang laptop na hinihiling kasi nga ay sumusuko na daw ang kanilang mga laptops. So, <laughs> sir, kailan po darating ang mga laptops natin? Sabi ko darating na po yan. So, ito na po mga kasamang guro. Um, masalamat na po tayo at nandito na. Makakamta na natin ang ating laptops sa wakas uh, para po magamit sa ating new normal. So, on behalf of Santa Rosa City Teachers Association sa lahat po ng mga guro na kasama po dito na makakatanggap ng uh, laptop na napakaganda. Uh, kami po ay lubos na kataos pusong tinatanggap po itong kaloob na laptop na mula sa ating local government. Um, dawa po ang inaasahan sa ating mga kasamang guro ay gamitin po ito natin ng tama, ng maayos, pakaingatan po natin. At syempre, ang inaasahan din po sa atin mga kaguro ay yung ating commitment sa ating uh, edukasyon na sa kabila po ng ating pandemya ay nandito tayo ay patuloy na sumusuporta, huwag sumusuko, ika nga laban lang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, laban lang para sa ating edukasyon. Um, patuloy lang po tayo manalangin, uh, bigyan pa tayo ng mahabang panahon, kalakasan. Um, kasi ito po ang nangyayari ay stress po ang binibigay sa atin, pero may solusyon naman po tayo dyan. Uh, tayo lang naman po ang makaka-resolve ba ng ating problema. Uh, sa ating kinakaharap, isipin po natin na mas, mas marami po tayong solusyon na maiisip kaysa mga problema. Sumuli so, po, uh, sa nga po ng samahan ng mga guro, Santa Rosa City Teachers Association, sa buong Santa Rosa, malugod po namin tinatanggap at os pusong, um, yun nga, tinatanggap yung iyong kaloob na um, laptops para sa mga guro at magamit sa aming Uh, distance learning. Maraming pong salamat at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Sir Larry? Kindly open po yung ating mga camera. May we request po for our ESDS yeah, and okay. our SDS. So, uh, Sir Larry, okay, in front, nandito po tayo lahat together with our SDS and ASDS. Ako na, mag-apit. Okay, wala pa si ma'am. Okay po. So, Sir Larry, kindly acknowledge and receive the 2,105 units of laptop to be issued to teaching and non-teaching personnel. Ayan po. <laughs> Binibigay na po sa inyo ni Sir uh, Jason Paul. Congratulations. Thank you po, Sir Larry sa pagtanggap sa mga units. Thank you po. Salamat po. So anyway, nandito na rin naman. Uh, may mga question pa po ba tayo? Para doon sa ating mga viewers po, baka po meron po kayong mga questions. Para po, before I will give you the uh, closing remarks. Po. Okay, so just this, siguro magpasa tayo ng ibang comment. Okay, um, yes, Sir Perry. So, eto we we are getting messages of thanks from our viewers eto kay Ma'am Dolores Mendoza Good morning po sa lahat salamat po Mayor Antin at Ma'am Ella sa patuloy na pagsuporta sa edukasyon ng mga batang Santa Rosa at mga guro God bless po Okay meron din tayo na tanggap Ma'am Kat okay uh, from Ma'am Marichu uh, Mengulio Thank you very much po Mayor 
Arcelias, Sir Arnold Arcelias, SDO Santa Rosa, and uh, SRCPA. Okay. And from um, Solita Porteria, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng suporta upang ang mga guro ay magkaroon ng laptop. Pagpalain po kayo ng poong may kapal. God bless po. God bless din po, ma'am. Another thing po, ito siguro, uh, maano natin ito. Sir Jason, bukin nandito ka. Paano daw po bang specs Ayan. ng laptop natin? Ayan. Ayan. So, ang specs po natin, as mentioned earlier po, 1.1 GHz Intel processor, 250 GB na SSD, at saka po 8 GB RAM. So, swap to swap po yan sa ating uh, distance learning. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sir Jason. Okay, puro pa sa salamat na mga... Eh, ito, meron pa nag-ask, sir. Okay. From Mr. Gregorio Itong, salamat po ng marami. Ask lang po kung pwede siya malagyan ng Office 365 po, Sir Jason. Uh, yes, po. Uh, thank you. Uh, um, yung 365 po natin sa DEPE, yun po talaga yung kapla na lagay po natin dito sa ating laptop uh, Laptop ay bibigyan ng CP. So, pwede-pwede po yung office 65 na dito sa atin. So, okay po yun. Meron pa, Ma'am Kat. Okay, meron pa po. Salamat, Sir Jason, again. So, again, from Sir Michael Resondra, kapag nasira po ang laptop during the course of teaching, sino po ang may responsibility na ipaayos or pausa nito if ever di na maayos? Thanks po. So, ay, maganda na question po yan, Sir Michael. So, kapag po nasira within one year po yung ating laptop, Uh, cover pa naman po siya ng warranty. So if ever po na masira siya, basta hindi po negligence nung, nung recipient, ay pwede pong ibalik sa division, ibabalik po natin sa city para po mapalitan o ma-repair po nung ating supplier. After po nung warranty, ay siyempre, ano na po siya nung recipient kung paano po niya iingatan yung ating mga laptops. Okay. Uh, Intel 1.1 GHz po yung processor natin. Okay. Ayun po yung nakalagay sa minimum specification na issue po ng ating DepEd Central Office. Ayan, magandang question din yan, Ms. Kat, Sir Perry. So, ang distribution po ng laptop natin, ay inaantay lang po natin yung mga, mga siyempre, yung mga forms at saka documents na coming from CT. So, yung last Friday, uh, uh, kumbaga kumuha niyo po tayo ng final list ng recipient dahil sa school. So, yung mga list na po yun, ay validate po natin at ipo-forward na natin sa CT. So hopefully po this week ay makapag-sign na po tayo ng distribution ng laptop. So uh, syempre nasa warranty pa rin po tayo, may batch po yung distribution natin. At maglalabas po ang official memo po para po dun sa official link po ng distribution po natin ng laptop. Okay, thank you very much uh, Sir Jason. We have a... Wait lang po. Ayan. From Sir Larry. Ayan. We have question from Sir Larry. Ask ko lang. Ayan. So, from Sir Larry, ask lang daw ni, ni Sir kung pwede ilagay sa MOOP ang mga pyesa na pwede masira. Uh, siguro po makikakonsult ko po yan sa ating finance. Pero... Ang alam ko naman po, kapag na-turn over na po siya sa school at saka division, pwede na po eh. Pero maglalabas po kami ng ano, advisory para po dyan. Consult ko po muna yung mga finance natin. Okay, maraming salamat po, uh, Sir Jason. So mostly, Ma'am Kat, uh, they are very excited at saka marami talaga na natutuwa sila. Okay, uh, meron pang isa. Yes, Ma'am Kat. Ayan, Sir Jason, kung need po ba isurrender sa SPC yung mga notebook na naunang ibigay? Ayan. Ay, oo. Okay. So, yes po, Sir Jose. Kailangan po natin ibalik na yung mga notebook na na-issue before. Ang intention po kasi natin doon para po 
Mag-invento nila po natin yung mga sitbook na rin. Kasi po, alam naman po natin na ikaw si Brother Nan, ang pangkutala. Kapag po kasi natin makakita lang ang equipment, lalang 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 kailangan na po natin ibalik sa kanila yon at ma-inventory para po ma-endorse na rin sa COA, para po ma-dispose na rin siya kung hindi na po talaga siya uh, functional. Kung functional pa po yung netbook na yun, ay ipapahiram po natin siya sa mga possible na, kunyari po, mga may ma-deploy pa rin na teacher na beyond dun sa number of units na requested natin, yun po yung ipapahiram natin sa kanila. So kailangan po natin ibalik. Okay, so thank you po ulit. We have from Ma'am Joan Romeo. So ilang, Sir Jason, uh, ilang uh, device po pwedeng ma-install ang Office 365 na, ibinibiga, na ibinigay ninyo sa amin. Naka-install na po kasi sa isang, sa kong laptop yung 365 po. Okay. Ay po, Ma'am Joan, good question po ulit dyan. So ang Ang Office 365 account po na ini-issue ng DepEd ay uh, A3 account po. Ibig sabihin, educational account po yan. Pwede po natin magamit yung ating Office 365 sa 15 devices, specifically po, 5 desktop, 5 laptop, at 5 tablet po. So, kung na-install nyo na po yung 365 nyo sa isang laptop, pwede nyo pa po yung install sa apat pang laptop. Okay, so yes. napag-usapan na rin naman natin ng Office 365, Sir Jason. Ayan. So, di po ba magahang ito o bumagal kapag na-install na natin ng 365? Ah, uh, uh, hindi ko naman po hindi kasi mataas naman po yung RAM niya. At saka okay naman po yung, yung processor niya. So, okay na okay po yung Office 365 natin. Ang hindi ko lang po i-advise dito sa mga laptop na to, yung mga uh, bawal po mag-install ng game. So, bawal po siyang gamitin doon. At saka po yung mga heavy duty editing po natin, video editing, ay hindi ko po siya uh, ina-advise. Lalo ko niya, gagamit po kayo ng Premiere. Yung mga basic editor po, pwede yan. Yung mga uh, Wondershare, yung Filmora, mga ganun, pwede yan. Pero yung mga Premiere, hindi po pwede. So, pwede, okay naman po siya sa distance learning. Hindi naman po yung mag sa physics pa. Okay. Thank so, you sa Sir Teresa. So, okay, uh, from may question din po tayo from Ma'am Sheena Resena. In line po sa question ni Sir Joseph, paano po yung mga teachers na nawawala na, nawawala na po ang mga next book, mabibigyan pa rin po ba sila ng laptop? Salamat po. Uh, ang tama po siguro makasagot nito sa Sir Sim, pero since wala po siya, I think naman po ay mabibigyan pa rin naman sila. Kasi alatid na po yan, nakapangalan na po sa ating mga kaguruan yung mga laptop natin. Ang mangyayari po, kapag wala pa siyang ma masaoli na netbook, ay yung next book na yon. ibig sabihin po, dalawa yung naka-issue sa kanyang laptop. Kapag po nag sa kanya, dalawang laptop po yung, ihingi, yung uh, titignan sa kanya para po isurrender. So, nabibigyan pa yun po yung hindi po makakasaoli. Okay, so I hope that explains na po. And then we have a reaction po dito. Yes. Uh, Nakitan kami sa reaction niya. Uh, oh, lungkot much. Madami na kami banding ni next book. Hehehe. Pero salamat po. Salamat din po, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you uh, po, ma'am. At least talagang uh, gamit na gamit ang next book kayo, ma'am. Okay? Wait lang po. Let's see po kung meron pa po mga katanungan. Okay. So, mostly, marami ay mga pasasalamat. Mm -hmm. So, very good. Okay. So, palagay po namin ay satisfied naman lahat. So, wala na po tayong um, katanungan. Actually po, kami ni Kat, nakikita namin dito, puro na lang uh, pasasalamat po. So, marami salamat din po sa inyo. So, to give us the closing remarks, okay, let us have our uh, assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Mr. Ernesto D. Lindo. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Deped Santa Rosa. Ngadang umaga po, uh, Ma'am Ella, at sa ating nakasama sa Deped, uh, sa Division Office, sa ating uh, dalawang chief, sa Sir James Kingat at kay Ma'am uh, Lujinio Pren, sa mga department head, Sa ating mga kasamahang PSDSS at saka EPSS, sa ating mga kapa, sa ating mga kasamahang punong guro at sa ating uh, mga guro na siyang uh, beneficiaryo ng ating uh, ginawa ngayong umaga 
na isa na namang uh, kahangahangang uh, partnership sa pagitan ng local school board, ng ating uh, local government at ng ating uh, uh, Deped Santa Rosa City. Okay, unang ho muna ay ating pagbati sa ating minamal na uh, mayora kay Mayor Arlene Arcilla sa kanyang walang sawang pagsuporta sa ating mga gawain. Ganun din po sa ating konsihal ng Santa Rosa City na in charge of education, kay konsihal uh, Jose Aala at kay Ginoong Arnold Arcilla ang ating partner sa ating uh, kasama si Kuya Arnold. Ang ganoon din po, uh, Sir Perry, salamat din sa inyong napagandang pag, uh, pag-facilitate ng programa, Sir Perry and Sir Kat. At ganoon din sa ating mga kasamang nagbigay ng kanikan nilang mga bahagi sa ating programa mula sa ating progressing ceremony, sa ating finance department, at sa ating uh, kasama sa DepEd, kay uh, Sir Larry, sa at sa kanyang uh, ginawang uh, virtual na pagtanggap sa ating mga laptop at yung mga komentaryo ng ating mga kasamahang guro tungkol sa laptop at tungkol sa na, uh, netbook. Ano? So okay naman yung sagot ng ating Sir Jason, yung mga netbook na nasa inyo, kung sila ay talagang uh, hindi na magamit, isa sa uli lang natin para ma- ma-release kayo sa inyong mga Uh, obligasyon do sa netbook na yon. Kung nawala naman, siyempre kailangan yung ring uh, iulat, magkaroon kayo ng uh, marahil ay police uh, report na nawala na sabing uh, netbook at uh, submit sa ating uh, uh, property custodian. Okay, Sir Sim. No? At kung hindi pa naman sira yung netbook at gusto nyo pa rin gamitin, pwede pa rin yung ingatan yung dalawang uh, gadget na yon yung netbook at saka yung laptop. Okay? So, sa bahagi naman po ng DepEd uh, Mayora, amin po naman pinapangako na aming iingatan ang mga uh, laptops na ito. Patulad din po na pag-iingat namin sa mga netbook na binigay sa atin ng ating uh, lunsod. Ganun din po, amin din uh, sisiguraduhin na ito ay gagamitin po lang ng mga guro sa online teaching at uh, para sa pakinabangan ng ating mga ma, ating mga batang Rosenyan, alot higit yung nasa online na uh, mo, uh, mode of teaching. Ganun pa rin po ay aming uh, papatid sa ating sanggunian na ito pong mga laptop na ito ay uh, magiging bahagi ng, mat, ng patuloy na paglilingkod ng ating uh, mga guro sa mga Batang taga Santa Rosa, kasunod na rin po bilang pagsunod sa ating moto na serbisyong makatao, uh, serbisyo para sa mga kabataang uh, Santa Rosa, ito po ay sa lungsod na makabago. No? Tayo po ay nasa makabagong panahon, yung normal, kaya ang technology, teknolohiya, ang ating gagamitin paraan upang ito ay ating maipahatid sa ating mga mag-aaral. Alam naman po natin, pag ang mga mag-aaral, ang mga kabataan ay nakapag-aaral, sila po ay magiging mabuting mamamayan at magiging uh, haligi ng lungsod ng Santa Rosa. Kaya ulit-ulit po sa ating kasama sa DepEd, sa ating kasama sa LGU, kami po sa DepEd Santa Rosa ay lubos ng tapasalamat sa napagandang pagkakataon na binigay nyo sa aming mga guro. Muli po, magandang umaga at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Dino. So, and so, and if you have any questions po pala, yung mga pahalo nating tanong regarding sa laptop, you may coordinate po with your school ICT coordinator para sila po ang mag-course through po sa ating uh, division ITO office. ITO1, okay po? So again, maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po and keep safe po tayo always. This has been uh, Perry. And this is Kat. Uh, God, God bless, bless us all po and keep safe. Ingat po tayo.